Hello, my dearest. This is the punk part speaking. No, I have not yet drunk myself to death. Though, <laughs> come to think, that would be a very nice thing. Just to die and pass away in drunken stupor. But, alas, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, and I am as drunk as ever. But today, I, <laughs> even though there are episodes for me to rant about, uh, I do not want to rant about episodes. I want to rant about a completely, though related, always related thing. I want to rant, and this is a very, very specified rant about force for. Um, customs, I want to rant about the fandom. Yes, yes, my cuties, I want to open this, this exact can of worms. <sighs> A little background. I have joined, I had joined the uh, Pony Fandom back in 2011, the winter, uh, the early, uh, the, uh, the end of autumn of 2011. Why I'm so unsure about the, about the exact date? Easily explain. Uh, that time, that time back then, I was uh, drinking, 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 and drinking, and watching, and watching anime, and and, and drinking. Why? You ask me. Because I had a very very hard year. To 2011, the most hardest year of my life. First, I got divorced that year. That was hard. That hit me right into, I don't know, the field. Second, I lost my very prestigious and very, very high paying job. So, I was alone, disgruntled, I, I didn't know where to go from that moment in my life. And uh, uh, I remember that moment <laughs> clearly, uh, <laughs> even though my uh, memory was rather blurred at that moment, at that moment in my life, I mean, uh, I was browsing, uh, browsing the internet and drinking some very cheap beer, something like a dollar for a liter and a half, very cheap. I, I, had, I had no job, I, I, my money was running out, and something, something. I really, uh, I was browsing and looking at something, something make me just 
make me uh, just take the bad thoughts out of my mind. Something like that. Because my thoughts, like at that moment, were really bad. Really bad. Ah, hmm? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I need to reply to my good and kind friend right now. Um, uh, what shall I write to him? Um, I write to him. Mm, well. Well, let's continue. So, I was browsing, as I already said, the internet, and I suddenly, suddenly, came across a picture. I came across a picture. Just a picture. Just a picture of Two cartoon characters sitting in a car, and um, I, I somehow remember those, not exactly those characters. I suddenly thought to myself, well, fuck me, but those two look like ponies, yes, ponies, like the ponies that uh, I, the, the pony from the cartoon that I watched back in uh, um, 18, 18, uh, um, 92, if I'm not mistaken, um, that cartoon uh, the Gen 1, I suppose, was running on the uh, local TV station, something like that, and I watched it because it was running prior to Transformers, Ultron, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, something like that. I just watched it because... I, uh, as I now understand, I always like cartoons. So, I looked at that picture briefly and discarded it, but then I came back to it and watched it more closely. And there was written on the picture. And that text was from my most favorite of um, movies ever. Because I'm joking, I have no favorite movies ever. I have no favorite at all. But a good movie. Uh, the uh, Fear and Lothing in Las Vegas. And I read the text, and I look at the picture, and I thought to myself, well, strange. Yeah, something like strange putting together cartoon, cute cartoon ponies. And something as disgusting as fear and nothing in Las Vegas. But I'm a progressive thinker. 
I'm slow, I'm not very bright, but anyway, I'm think progressively. I thought to myself, if if people go out as much as they put the uh, refurbished text on a picture with phone, the text that relates to the picture of phone, then there is something that I I shall check out and look for myself why this exact thing happened. Because, of course, it, it was not the child's uh, first Photoshop attempt. It was, it was designed by a grown-up person. Grown-up person putting ponies with the text from a fear and laughing in Las Vegas, refurbished text. Ah, and I knew exactly in that moment that I came across something that I will, would, ever like. Even though I was in withdrawal, I had no money to buy a new drink, I need a drink, everybody denied me. I had nothing, nobody to go to, I had nothing, I, had, I was very, 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 very distraught. And even that, um, wait a moment, um, I, 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 I really I want to go to and fetch uh, me some uh, drink, not I, that I really need it. Drinking is something that when you start, you drink away and have fun. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Not even a minute. Split seconds. I'm the last one to get a drink. So, my lovelies, to sum up, I was drinking heavily, I was in depression, and I came across a picture of phone. Of two phones. The one that made me a pony fan. Note, I never used the word starting with B. I think that it is a very stupid, very stupid word. And I don't like it. Never used it. Never thought of myself as the one starting with B. So, with that out of the way, um, I was depressed, and there were two ponies on the picture. The first one made me a pony fan. The second one sealed the deal with the devil. No, <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm going to hell for that kind of luck. That love is simply forbidden. But I simply, I simply lose myself in a lot because blue eyes, when I look in them, when I look into them, I can play heaven. But anyway, so I start googling, 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 and I sat suddenly discovered that there was a whole bunch of people really invested into a cartoon 
a cartoon. But these cartoon not girls cartoon. I never, never ever made those silly things like, you know, that's for girls, that's for boys, that's for little kids, that's for grown ups and something like that. Oh, the media is for everybody. That's maybe I'm not just a thinking of a part, but I don't care really, just the way I feel. And I um, thought to myself, well, <laughs> my current situation can get any worse. Let's give this cartoon a skeptical watch. And I gave. I, uh, true to myself, starting from the beginning, I downloaded the first season and I started from the first two parts. And I was not impressed. No. I uh, I was not disappointed either, uh, either. Fuck everybody who says either instead of either. But anyway, um, uh, I wasn't disappointed either. I was a very, very, very immensely, overwhelmingly good cartoon. It was. I was amazed, really, that so much work were put into a cartoon that airs in the morning on the Saturday, really. But I was impressed, I was impressed by the quality, the sound, I was impressed by the music, I was very impressed by the input, but I wasn't invested into it even a little bit. None. Zero. It was just a nice, very nice, very well put together cartoon. Nothing more. Nothing less. So I watched uh, two parts, I watched uh, three or four episodes, then I, uh, I went and, I went and found, 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 whatever, I, <coughs> I started working again, um, and I, um, for a moment, in time, forgot about this oh, whole M-O-P-F-I-M. But then, suddenly, it was a hard day at work I had to visit four clients, four places, in one day. And help me with their uh, hardware problem. Uh, the hardware was in their head, really. And I went back home. I was so tired. I was so distraught. I simply. Uh, that was a very high paying job, but not to compare my job at the uh, local TV station. That is uncomparable. But still, I loved my new job, but it made me so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Made me so very. Um, I don't know, like squeezed out lemon really something like that every day every day one two three one two three every day and i i came back home 
I was long time divorced at that moment. I lived alone. I came back to my lonely, lonely apartment. Mixed myself a drink. Um, and then I thought to myself, well, why? What will improve my mm, mood at the moment? I thought about watching some George Carlin at first, but then I thought to myself, George Carlin is a very edgy person, and I don't need edgy right now. I need something peaceful, something something huge, something that will make me just feel uh, relaxed. And I thought to myself, well, I need something really cute, cute and whimsical and something like that. My Little Pony, Friendship and Magic. I have a whole first season on my hard drive. Never watched beyond the fifth episode, but still, let's give it a shot. And then it happened. Why did that happen? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Really. That evening, I wasn't in depression, really. I was just tired. I needed something to just watch myself to sleep. And I watched from the beginning, from the first part. Uh, uh, oh, well, 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 yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, she did that. And, 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 and then she said, and then she sang a song, and then she, uh, she almost fell. And then, yes, they almost, they almost met her, joined them, and she said, uh, she said to them, fuck you, well, fuck me. I invested. I suddenly discovered that I'm feeling for the characters of the show. Even though I had my favorites and my not favorites from the first go, from the second go, it was the second go. Uh, I was very, very infatuated, quote, unquote, not infatuated, but really invested in the character of Rainbow Dash. Yeah, that was at the moment the kind of girl I would go out and meet and have some fun time with. And I really, 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 I really, 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 really didn't like it. It was a dramatic moment. Pinkie Pie. Yes. From the beginning of my uh, pony fan involvement, I despise. I hate it. I love I found uh, so annoying, so I have no words to express that, but I hate it. Pinkie Pie and the burning passion of a thousand suns. She almost made me drop the cartoon. Somewhere around um, the the end of, um, of, uh, of 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 the beginning of the second season, the beginning of the second season, she almost made me drop the cartoon. <laughs> the irony, the irony is is so. I hate myself for that. I, well, I hate myself 
Even now, I am mad for his back. I hate myself for hating my one true love till the end of time. But anyway, <laughs> I hated Pinkie Pie, I liked Rainbow Dash, and I was very, 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 very eager to watch the second season. And that is the premise. The miss? <laughs> premise miss. Huh? Get it? Get it? Get it? The miss is the fandom. The fandom and its state right now. Uh, wait a second, my cuties. I had to... I have to reply to my dearest friend right now, because uh, we are, you know, we are having a Russian BronyCon in something like October or November, and my dearest friend just written to me that he, <coughs> he uh, has lost all the all the they just do not want to attend it anymore let's say it like that i need to reply to him i will reply to him something like that do not pay attention to the uh fuck it we will have a good time with our uh, little company of friends on the russian chronicon uh, it is very out of context, but I just had to give you something, because I'm going to be uh, silent for a few seconds, please, seconds, please. Не ради этих долбоебов туда поедешь. Срать на них с э, э, образно с колокольни. Там будут все твои друзья. И четвертые. К тому же, если не Бой, что я не поеду, то что то же. Something like that. Something cute, something warm for a friend to help to to help him to regain his spirit. Okay. So, the state of the fandom, the real point of my shtick. The state of the fandom is um, the thing that makes me sad. Transcendently sad, beyond any comparison to anything ever in my life. The state of the fandom is simply can be described in fucked up. The state of the fandom is the fandom is not dying. No, 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 no. Uh, wait for a second. I'm. <laughs> I really need to go and take a leak. So I will be back in a uh, jiffy.
<coughs> okay, I'm back. The state of the fandom. The state of the fandom. The fandom is not die. I, I have no word to express my sadness about the people who say that fandom is die. Fandom is stagnant. Stagnation. It's stagnant. New people do not come in. Old, old, my God, old people do not come out. Stagnation. The core, the true core, true name them as you like. The true bronies, the true horse fuckers, the true pony fags, as I call all those people equally, pony fans are there in the fan still. But the thing about the fandom that disturbs me greatly is that fandom is not dying, fandom is not growing, it is stagnant, but it is rapture. And this, my duties, is the most terrible thing. The fandom the cartoon about French and togetherness and doing things for the betterment of the other is rapture. I am saddened and I am very, very miserable. Phantom about friendship and togetherness is rapture. And I am, mind you, one of the many pieces of this rapture. I spent a lot of time on Westward Daily, then I left Westward Daily, then to a Russian local pony community named. The, the herd, Taboon. Then I left the herd for Fortune. Then I left Fortune for uh, mm, two channel HK. We uh, call it Wash. Then I left completely the board, and now I have a little country. Conference in Discord with just me and the people who do not find me annoying. That's it. That's that. That's the way I see. I am. I am the part of this growth. The growth of structure. The standard. Guys at Ditsy Wool, the guys at Wester Daily, the guys at Fortune Moop, the guys at Bosch Moop, the Taboon Oits, the Pony Chan guys, the guys from Reddit, subreddits, the guys from Joy reactor, the guys, guys, the guys, 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 and girls, of course, girls, girls too. The guys I use it just to come up, come up. We are we are the fandom, but we are not the fandom. No fandom. Mind that coming from a mouth of a very old Rather old, rather old, middle-aged, whatever. Guy, 
who have seen many, many things in his life. The fandom, problem with fandom, the great problem with fandom, the problem that made me read many places. Because I antagonized myself with the people residing in them. The fact that fandom is fractured. Not dying. Not in any way. Он хотя записался хоть чуть-чуть. Бледина ебаная. 36 минут. Нихуя себе, блядь, да, я 36 минут, что ли, блядь? Я здесь уже, по-моему, час распинаюсь. Пиздец, блядь, ебаная хуйня. Ладно. Whatever. Uh, I don't know how much of that I was saying got recorded, but anyway, I'm going to post that. And just, just because I, I was just putting out my soul, giving everything I have. Bottom line, I'm very, very sad, and I'm very upset about the rapture of the fandom. We are no longer, quote unquote, brony. We are no longer anything. We are, we are, we are for the lack of a better word, pony fans. And we are not together. We are apart. So, I love you very much, my cuties. And this was a uh, Pong Fugs uh, drank, uh, drunk, drank, 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 uh, rambling about the fandom. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time, my next rambling, when I get drunk. I don't know when it will happen, I have no money.